when you actually raise the animal. Even if you're already vegan, you just realize so much more like how horrible it is that this stuff happens to these poor, innocent little pigs. When she was aging and, and she was at the sanctuary already, but you know, you go see her and, and Liz would say, oh, next week is gonna be six months and all of her siblings probably are being killed, yeah. you know, right now. And she would have been killed at that point. June 19th of 2020, Regan Russell, the activist in Canada who, I think it's Spearman's, the pig slaughterhouse, they protest and the truck's coming in and out and, and they give the pigs water and stuff. And there's usually crowds out there and she was hit um, by a transport truck and killed. Some activists contacted us and asked if we wanted to take on a piglet if we could rescuing her, I guess, from a factory farm situation, a large factory farm, in honor of Regan Russell. It's an honor, really. Like, you feel like we're carrying on Regan Russell's legacy and, like, making sure her memory lives through all these animals that get to have lives now because of her. But, like, she didn't die in vain. You know, she died doing what she loved and helping animals. And we can carry that, you know, on for her. It really was like having a, a little puppy. I mean, I've had dogs all my life, basically, and it was like having a little puppy that had all the same characteristics and all the same loves, and, you know, she loved being pet or belly rubs or or cuddling or going out and playing and meeting people and, and running around in the backyard and stuff. And that was another thing, taking her to the park. I mean, people were curious and would come over, you know, and, and it would be adults as, as much as kids you know, come over and, and be like, what's this, is this a piglet? And, you know, and see that they do have personalities. They are playing with your dog right now. And This little boy came up and he was talking about how, like, you know, yeah, I love bacon, blah, blah, blah. But then he was saying like, wow, she's, you know, just like my dog. She's acting just like my dog. And we're like, yeah, like they, <laughs> you know, most animals probably will act just like your dog. Yeah, people <laughs> just don't make the connection. You just don't see them as, anything but a product, basically. I mean, people don't realize that pigs are like your dogs, and pigs do have these personalities and, and do love and care and, and want to play and, and, you know, love their family. And hope that people can look at her and see beyond their stomachs, basically, and maybe look at Regan as Regan and not a product or like livestock, as people still, you know, call them. But, you know, just, that really would be like the best thing in the world, I think, is that people could see beyond 